Dancing at Lunasa won every major award for best play the year it premiered. And now it's closing out the 19th season at Job Site Theater. And here to give us a preview are two of the stars in Katrina Stevenson and Caitlin Eason. Good morning, ladies. How Hi, are man. you? <laughs> so lots I want to talk about because, again, we've talked about how this has been a stage play that had incredible success, incredible awards that it was able to take home. Also was made into a movie, and I want to get your thoughts on that. But first, in case you're not familiar, Let's literally set the stage for us. The stage is, um, it's a play told in memory. So a man named Michael is telling a story for, or telling about events that happened about 25 years before his retelling. So it's 1936, rural Ireland, um, outside a fictional town called Ballybeg, um, near uh, Donegal. And it's five sisters, uh, all unmarried ranging from 40 years old down to 26 years old. Um, some of them work, some of them don't work. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a summer in their lives. And uh, a summer in the lives that you say the writing behind the play was something that just in talking with you, I can tell you were very passionate about that as an actor and it sounds like possibly as a viewer as well. Yes, I do find that when it comes to movies and plays and switching back and forth, a lot of the integrity is lost, I think, uh, especially with this play. This play touches on family and heart. And I think with the play and, and seeing that, there isn't a person that's not going to walk out of there thinking of their mother, their grandmother, you know, and their family unit. And you even said this English playwright, correct? And that's who wrote it. It almost has a poetic feel. He's an Irish playwright. Irish, Irish sorry. Uh, sorry. Brian Friel, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the Irish are really good at melding, you know, spoken word and poetry and creating imagery. And Bri Brian Friel is arguably Ireland's greatest playwright for that. Um, but he creates this, these feelings and these emotions with just words. And being able to portray that as actors on the stage, exciting, challenging, oh, fun. What are your thoughts? It's fabulous. I mean, it's just, I look forward every day going to rehearsals and, and telling the story because it's an absolutely gorgeous piece of theater. I love that. I love hearing you guys describe it as a gorgeous piece of theater. Mm -hmm. That's such a great way to describe it. And there's so many layers. There is literally what's going on, the relationships between these, these women and the couple of men in their lives. But it's these deep undercurrents underneath and it's feelings of, you know, hope, of regret, of panic, of jubilation, um, that there's the surface and then there's all of this bubbling up underneath and you get to see it come out every once in a while. And so you will laugh, you may cry, um, it may make you think, it's all of the things. And job site already lends itself so well to being close with the audience in the in the nice. confined space that it is, the intimate space, mm -hmm. if you will. So that's got to be even nice to be able to see this kind of production there. It is. Um, and, you know, I like to say you can't escape when you're in the Schimberg Playhouse because you are <laughs> so close with the actors. But it, you become, you're the, the, you know, the final actor in the play is the audience because we do this with you and we can feel you, we can hear you all of those things so it's a it's a back and forth and it's very much alive and for that one moment it's nothing more gratifying to feel what your audience is feeling while you're on stage it's well audiences definitely feel a lot when they check this out again all of the awards that it has won and if you want to see it for yourself the job site theater at the Stras right now through july 8th there's the information thank you both for coming in today thank you thank you